Some companies often become synonymous with one product. For example, Xerox. Most people don't take photocopies, they take Xerox copies. That's how big that one product is. But what happens when that top-selling product gets mired in controversies and lawsuits? Case in point, Johnson & Johnson, their talcum powder was the toast of the world. Doctors recommended it, parents swore by it, and almost every child used it. You could find their bottles in most homes around the world. In fact, you never bought baby powder, you bought Johnson's baby powder. That's how things were. Well, that product, Johnson's baby powder, is being officially pulled from the market in 2023. Johnson & Johnson will not, not sell talc-based powder anymore. Instead, they will sell cornstarch-based powder. The question is why? Because the current product is linked to cancer. J&J &J is facing thousands of lawsuits from women across the world. Most of them make the same allegation that the powder has traces of asbestos. Now, asbestos is basically a mineral. It can be mined from the earth. Until the 1970s, it was used extensively in construction. It reacts well against heat and corrosion. The downside, though, is that it causes cancer. So asbestos was gradually phased out from the construction industry. But turns out, Johnson's baby powder had traces of it. Well, how did that happen? Time for Skin Care 101. The whole idea of baby products is to keep the skin dry to prevent all sorts of rashes and talcum powder gets the job done. It keeps our skin dry. The problem is the source. Just like asbestos, talc is also a mineral. The mines that produce talc also produce asbestos. So inevitably they get mixed. Now, over the years, many women have sued Johnson & Johnson over this issue. A lawsuit in 2018 was, in fact, the biggest. Johnson & Johnson was ordered to pay $4.7 billion to 22 women, $550 million in compensation, $4.1 billion in punitive damages. All 22 women said the baby powder gave them ovarian cancer. Pretty soon, more damning reports emerged. A 2018 investigation revealed that Johnson & Johnson knew about the problem. They knew what the problem was. They knew the powder had traces of asbestos. Not one or two bottles, almost 30 years worth of products. Three zero, 30 years. From 1971 to 2000, Johnson & Johnson products routinely tested positive for asbestos. This is what internal documents revealed. But the company continues to deny them. By 2020, the bad press was becoming too much to handle. Johnson & Johnson pulled their talcum powder from the US and Canada. Guess what they blamed? Misinformation. But outside North America, the sales continued and so did the lawsuits. Almost 38,000 cases are pending against this company. Fighting all of this requires a lot of money. To be precise, more than $3.5 billion. So the company decided it's better to pull the plug. Their new strategy is this. Let me quote from Johnson & Johnson's statement. As part of a worldwide portfolio assessment, we have made the commercial decision to transition to, all, to an all cornstarch-based baby powder portfolio. They're swapping talc with cornstarch. And scientifically, it makes sense. Cornstarch is already used by multiple cosmetic brands. They have properties similar to talc, but it doesn't... Does that give Johnson & Johnson a free pass? After all, where is the accountability? Despite 38,000 lawsuits, despite all the investigations and scientific evidence, Johnson & Johnson is yet to admit their mistake. They're more concerned about perceptions. In fact, we all got an email today from the company. Our website carried this report earlier today. By noon, we got a reaction from Johnson & Johnson. This is, this is what they said. Johnson & Johnson has not stopped selling its baby talcum powder because it is cancer-causing. It is a commercial decision and part of a worldwide portfolio assessment which includes evolving customer trends and preferences. Evolving customer trends, really. 38,000 lawsuits are not a customer trend. We call that a health hazard. And the email goes on, and I'm quoting, please note that decades of independent scientific analysis by medical experts around the world confirms that talc-based Johnson's baby powder is safe, does not contain asbestos, and does not cause cancer. So I guess the courts are wrong, the scientific tests are wrong, also the internal company documents are wrong. If Johnson & Johnson are so confident about their product, why pull it from the market at all? Why go from talcum to cornstarch? The fact is, the company does not have to convince us. 
They must convince their customers, millions of people who use their powder almost religiously. They deserve an explanation, not us. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.